So I was walking through my kitchen and I saw this. That is a tiny water spot directly under the toilet. So let's figure out what's wrong. Okay, here's the bathroom above where we were just standing. And I'm gonna start by removing everything out of the bathroom. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is put on some gloves. Probably gonna bring in some towels also. Just set them down. First thing we're gonna do is turn off the water. Flush the toilet. So we just finished shutting off the water line and we're gonna loosen up this plastic bolt. And we've got this, a couple other little plastic, that's all that's holding this top tank on. There's one on both sides, so I'm just gonna loosen those. And this top tank should come right off. You can see, you can see you've got two bolts, one on each side. So they're just little plastic pieces. They're really not tight, they're just finger tight. And now this should just lift right off. Nope. That's pretty easy. Set this down. Okay, now that we got the top off, next thing we're gonna do is go under here and loosen up these flange bolts. It looks like they're over tightened, which could be part of the problem. That was easy enough. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the toilet and I'm gonna lift it over. Okay, as you can see here, there's definitely some unevenness here, like it's been pushed way in the back. And um, most likely that's where the water went. You can obviously see where the water has gone back behind here. And likely that's what caused the problem. So it also looks like the flange is below the tile line, which is bad. So that's probably the, the core issue. So what we need to do is raise this up. I'm gonna show you the part that you need. It's this here, I'll put a link to the description, but basically it's specifically designed for applications where your flange is under your tile uh, or the floor. You can see it pops, it's got a little uh, piece here and it automatically comes with the wax ring and a rubber ring. So this was only $10. So let's see how this works. So yeah, you can see your wax ring right there, your rubber ring, like there. So we are going to now clean off the, uh, the wax. We have a tool here that should work better. Okay, you're gonna put it underneath, get it underneath the wax. Okay, now pull it out. Push it in there. Okay. All the way in. There we go. Okay, now pull it back out. Oh, there you go. Now grab the the ring. Yeah, I know, cause I'll put it inside of this bag. Hold on, first. Why are you putting it down? It goes in the back. This, this thing feels so cool. Guys, okay. um. What? Quick, um, thing. Always wear gloves for this. This is, this is super gross. <laughs> always, always wear gloves. Because, um, you never know what can be in there. So we're going to just scrape off the rest of this wax here. I don't even know why we even have that in there. Why do we have the wax? 
wax? Yeah. Because this is what seals the toilet to the whole thing. Okay, next thing we're going to do now that we got our toilet clean is we're going to clean around the flange. Is that good? Yep. Good. Okay. Good job. Just gonna make sure that there's no nothing on this flange that could keep it from sealing. We are ready. This is the adapter that you need for a flange that's under the floor. So we're gonna put that on. This is just gonna go down over top of your flange, just like that. It's going to be just like that. The toilet is going to go on in the same way that it came off. Okay, now I'm just going to push down to seat it. Okay, now I'm going to put the nuts back on. Tighten these up with my little pliers. Tighten these back up. Okay, now that we got everything back together, we are going to turn the water back on, check for leaks. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, that job only took me about maybe an hour at most, so that's including going down to Lowe's, so get you next time. <music>